Your old and busted TV might be exactly what you need to make more beautiful lighting for your videos or photography. I found this shattered broken TV on the street and I ripped it apart, turned it into the shroud for a basic LED light and now I use it for video calls and the picture is just that much more attractive to look at. And I made a larger version as well so that I can use for lighting my videos like the one you're watching right now. But before I get into these builds, let's talk about why TVs might hold the secret to better lighting. And the key word that we're going to need to come to understand is diffuse. So let's demonstrate that. Please don't look at the sun without eye protection, but if you were to go outside and look at the sun, you're going to see it's very bright, very harsh, very directional. And so if you're taking photos in direct sunlight, you're going to see the effects of that lighting. For example, with this, you can see really harsh highlights like this and really clear shadows like this. Overall, this picture quality isn't that great. Now, diffuse light can still be bright, but it loses the harshness and directionality of direct sunlight. So if I put some photography cloth up on a C-stand and put that in between the sun and myself in the same photo, you're going to see the harsh highlights uh, lessen and the clear shadows are going to soften. And overall, this is going to provide a more balanced picture for your camera to record. Ultimately, this is going to help you down the line with any color grading um, or anything after the fact as well. And these benefits are because the light is now more diffuse. So not only is it emanating from a larger surface area, but the light is also scattered because of the cloth. And TVs have a similar need as you with your videos and photography. They use LEDs inside, which are basically like miniature suns. They're just points of light. And they need to distribute that light evenly across the entire front surface of the TV. Uh, and if they don't do that, then when you're watching your newest Netflix movie, you're going to see either a bright spot or a dark spot over your protagonist's face. Now, they do this with really interesting and fascinating materials. And some TVs are going to work a little bit differently than others, but generally speaking, you have the LEDs and then you're going to have layers of lenses that will split up and divvy the light out over a larger area before they hit what's called a diffuser. And this is a more opaque piece of plastic that really makes the light buttery smooth over the whole surface. And there's even little small bumps on the outer surface that help to, again, scatter that light in different directions. So these are the lighting principles that we want to replicate for our own lights. But you can't place the sun where you want it to for your shot. You can't always even fit a C-stand of photography cloth where you want it to be. So we need something smaller, a little bit more portable, a little bit more reliable. Um, so what do you do? You buy this. Uh, this is an off-the-shelf solution. It has a very powerful light, specifically designed to fuse your materials. But yeah, so let's actually, uh, let's buy a $55 light. Um, let's take apart a broken TV and let's fabricate our own. the black PLA it matches the existing plastic these little rounded edges all the way up just look look gorgeous I'm really happy with how this is turning out <laughs> oh look at that it's almost like it was meant to be so yeah I got these this kind of corner radius to, to just kind of look super uh, flush and match the original pattern. And um, you know, it's super lightweight because all these materials are very light. Um, this is awesome. Well, I made the larger version uh, light box off camera and I'm really excited to test it out. We're gonna do a comparison between the large, the small, and then the original size light uh, and see if all this work was worth it. Let's go take a look. So I set up a little photo shoot for us um, in a dark room, blackout curtains. I've got a blue LED light popping some color on the background. And then there's one light in the room and that's the one right here to my left above pointed at my face. 
and I'm going to swap out the original LED light with my small modification for video calls and then the largest modification that I'm actually going to use for filming in the future. Um, and we'll see if any improvements uh, came out of the work. So um, all right, let's take a look. Now, clearly the differences between these aren't as big as the sun experiment from earlier, but they are there and they are very helpful in making the picture that much more attractive and pleasing. Well, uh, for a couple bucks of materials and uh, scavenging a broken TV from off the street, um, I was able to turn these uh, basic LED lights into a much better product. And um, it's always fun to put your own personal stamp on things. Um, it makes you think about the project every time you use it. It gives you a little bit of pride, you know. So um, I would encourage you, if you're ever going to walk in the streets, um, take a look, see what other people have thrown out. Uh, maybe their trash can be your next project. Um, so uh, go make cool stuff.